Hello, I'm Dr. Lee, and now we will continue with the digestive system. This is NBC 201, Unit 3 Lecture. So the objectives of this presentation are to identify the organs and other structures of the digestive system, define and spell the word parts, build and analyze medical terms using word parts, define, pronounce, and spell the disease and disorder, diagnostic, surgical, and complementary terms for the digestive system, interpret the meanings of abbreviations, and read medical documents and interpret medical terminology contained in them. So here are some accessory organs to the digestive system. You have the salivary glands. They produce saliva, which flows into the mouth to, the beginning, uh, to begin the digestive process. You have the liver that produces bile, which is necessary for the digestion of fats. Then you have the bile ducts, which are passageways that carry bile. Hepatic duct is a passageway, passageway for bile from liver. And the cystic duct carries bile from the gallbladder. They join to form the common bile duct, which conveys bile to the duodenum. duodenum. Now, you also have the gallbladder, which are small sac-like structures that stores bile. And you have the pancreas that produces pancreatic juice, which helps digest all types of food and secretes insulin for carbohydrate metabolism. You have the peritoneum, which is a serous sac lining of the abdominal and pelvic cavities. And you have the appendix, which is a small pouch, which has no known function attached to the sacrum. The abdomen portion is a portion of the body between the thorax and the pelvis. Now, an hernia is an area that has that of the intestine that has bulged out of the of the stomach, basically, and it's penetrating uh, bulges through the muscle that's supposed to protect it. Um, and, and, and you can see it protruding and um, bulges out to the skin. So it has like a bulging um, of the skin. Sometimes um, it can go down on its own, but oftentimes it needs to be surgery, surgically um, corrected. Polyps, um, especially those found in the colon, um, can indicate um, problems that can lead to colon cancer. So oftentimes um, doctors will remove those polyps because they are usually the first indicators um, that a person might develop colon cancer later on. Uh, peptic ulcers are usually caused, um, or they also are, are also called gastric ulcers. They are caused primarily from uh, excessive acid um, in, uh, in someone's di uh, nutrients that they're consuming some, in someone's um, diet. And that concludes this presentation.